Hello, dear vendors. Good day and welcome to another Panda class. It's time to buckle up and get ready as we explore all the essentials and the best of GoDroid. I am Clarissa and I will be your host for today. Now, before we begin, if you want to learn more that isn't part of this Panda class, head on over to university by logging into the restaurant portal so you can check out all our tips and tricks as well as our guides and video tutorials. All right, let's embark on your vendor journey. Starting off by understanding the mighty GoDroid. So ito yung essentials natin to get started. First off, yung anatomy ng device natin. So this is the front view of the GoDroid device. It looks like your normal um, tablet, di ba? So kita dito your screen, the power button, the volume button, and the home button down here. Now, the special thing about this is meron siyang special printer box. Now, this one prints out the order slips. Now, take note, order slips are not official receipts. So, dito siya lumalabas sa paper feeder. Now, the back part of the device, we have a detachable cover. Now, meron siyang um, two dots here. Now, this is not a selfie camera, so please do not use it to take photos. And meron tayo ditong SIM card tray. If ever you have SIM cards, you will see your SIM cards here. Now, that one is used for connecting using data. Now, you know the anatomy? Let's activate your restaurant. So, if you haven't already, we have three simple steps. All you have to do is follow vendor portal, accept, and select. So, vendor portal, you can just tap the GoDroid icon deep the screen. Now, after that, you will see two prompts. Ito yung make and manage phone calls prompt and yung access ng device location. You have to accept these two so that your customers can, of course, you can accept calls from them and call them if ever. And of course, makikita yung location ninyo by the rider. Now, after you have accepted both prompts, you have to select. So select yung country, which is Philippines, and select the language, which is by default easier um, to understand English. Syempre. After that, you can just tap, get started, and you are activated. Now, since you have been activated, are you ready to go online with us? Now, going online, syempre, uh, meron tayong nakaset na opening hours. 30 minutes before you open your restaurant, meron tayong makikita ng green prompt or notification like this. So, itong green prompt na to is um, a reminder for you to check in. So, kunyari 9 o'clock kayo nag-open. So, by 8.30, you will see the green screen. Then, just tap open restaurant and then you can you will see a, time, uh, a timer. So, ready na kayo mag-open for the day. Now, if you are an early bird, so mas maaga kayong nag-open ng GoDroid device. So let's say again, 9 o'clock ang open ninyo and you're already ready to open your store at 8. Then don't worry, you can check in a little early. So pagka-check in and pagka-open ng restaurant, you will see the timer up here. You will be opening exactly the same time as what is set doon sa opening hours tool natin sa portal. So 9 o'clock ang opening ng store sa Food Panda. You checked in ng 8, and then you will see 1 hour na, ti na timer dito. So let's say, um, na nakita na ninyo yung 30-minute notif, pero you're still not ready to open your restaurant. Then, if you're not yet ready, it's okay. You can just manually set it open like so. Ito yung makikita ninyong button. But do note that if you don't check in, you will remain closed sa platform. So your customers will not see you. You are just closed for the day. Or if so, or if ever na late lang kayo nag-open, then you will open a little later sa platform. But do note that if you are closed during opening hours, so 9 o'clock, tapos di pa kayo open sa platform, you did not check in sa device, then it will affect your offline hours. Now, let's say nag-open na kayo. So in the middle of the day, busy na lahat, ang daming orders na pumapasok, and it's a bit overwhelming. So, lunchtime, dinner time yan usually. Some restaurants, merienda. If you are getting busy, you can always switch your status to busy. Now, this one will temporarily stop incoming orders for 30 minutes. So, 30 minutes siyang walang orders. You're just busy. The customers will see it sa app as temporarily unavailable. Now, you will be prompted to check in after 30 minutes. And by 30 minutes, you'll have to open your restaurant ulit. If ever it's getting way too busy, tas hindi ninyo na open yung restaurant ninyo here, 
then it will automatically close your restaurant. So, magiging close siya. So, you can close your restaurant either for a while or let, and it will halt all incoming orders, or you can also close close for the day. Again, this is not encouraged because this will affect your offline hours sa uh, metrics and performance of Food Panda. But of course, syempre, mas hawak ninyo yung oras ninyo in the restaurant. So, you can switch it to close muna. And then, just manually open it again once you are ready to accept more orders. But again, you can set it to just busy para 30 minutes lang naka-close siglit. And then, you can just open it again after 30 minutes. Now, we know how to set our status. Activated na tayo. We can check in. During the day, you can also encounter a bit of issues with the device. Now, these are three common issues that you can easily troubleshoot. First off, yung device issue natin, which is your tablet has frozen. So, if ever your tablet has frozen, hold the power button for 20 seconds to force restart. So, this is the power button. And then, make sure that the power cable is plugged in. So, nakasaksak siya para at least makakarapag-restart siya. After that, the screen will go blank and initiate full restart mode. Wait a few seconds until you see your default home screen and then you're all set. It is also re recommended na just like any other device, phone, laptop, tablets, computers, keep it away from any heat source or wet or damp areas. Kasi, syempre, these elements can affect its performance. So, iinit siya or, either, syempre, we don't want to, we want the device to get wet, di ba? So, baka mag-malfunction. So, that's um, one way to avoid this issue. Our second issue is yung printer. So, may two types ng issue dyan. So, so first one is yung faded prints. If ever you see your prints um faded, yung order slips natin, then you have to check if tama ba yung pagkalagay ninyo sa printer paper. So, dapat over siya pag ganito. Yung glossy side, just like a receipt, andito. Kasi dito kakapit yung ink ng printer. Now, if mali siya, baka paloob siya like this. So, just switch it around, dapat palabas, and then do a test print. By doing a test print, go to the menu icon, so yung three lines, select settings, then test print. If ever malabu pa rin siya, it might be the paper na, so replace the paper roll with a new one. Our second printer issue naman, baka disconnected lang yung printer ninyo. So go to the menu icon, yung three lines natin, select settings, go to Bluetooth printer, and check if paired yung inner printer. Select that. Next, tap the home button, go to settings, and select Bluetooth. I-off nyo siya ulit, then on to connect sa inner printer. Then, a GoDroid logo should be printed out like so. But, what if you're still encountering or experiencing printer issues? Well, we've got you covered. This might be the third issue of the device, yung connection issue. Baka disconnected yung network ninyo. A way to fix this is by going to the home button. Go to settings, select Wi-Fi, and ensure na naka-off yung Wi-Fi. After that, press the power button, hold it for 5 seconds, and then tap restart. After restarting your device, just reconnect sa Wi-Fi or connection ninyo, and then you should be all set. Now, it is recommended na if meron kayong SIM card, to please select yung 4G or 5G or LTE kung meron man sa location ninyo or area. Para mabilis yung connection. If ever you don't have a SIM card or you don't have fast data in your area, then just select the fastest Wi-Fi that you have. Para at least you can receive all the orders kasi stable ang um, connection ninyo. So now we know how to troubleshoot. We know how to check in. We know how to activate. Yun yung pinakauna, activation. Let's learn the best practices to achieve excellence and efficiency. Number one is keep things updated. So update your menu, your opening hours. Make sure regularly check siya. Kung may holidays, just adjust it sa portal accordingly. And if hindi naman need to adjust yung time, syempre yung menu ninyo. Kung may unavailable, iset ninyo as unavailable. Kung unavailable kahapon is now available, set it back to available. This is so you can avoid receiving orders when your kitchen is closed and if an item is unavailable. Number two, switch your status. So, switching your status. So, like I mentioned kanina, sometimes overwhelming sa restaurants. Kung may dine-in kayo, lalo na, di ba? Or may other 
delivery partners, whether in-house or other partners, it might get too busy, lalo na lunch, merienda, and dinner. So just switch it to busy muna. This way, you can um, show your customers na wait lang, di pa kami ready to accept orders, and you can avoid um, bad customer experiences and missing out on orders. Lalo na nga, yun nga, busy kayo, baka hindi ninyo na napapansin yung device. It's better to set it to busy muna instead of avoiding or ignoring your device. Number three, stay strong. So a strong connection is key. This will ensure you will receive all orders on time and of course, pumapasok sila. So again, as I have mentioned earlier, you have the choice to use the data if you have SIM, a SIM card. But do note that my limit tayo na 1.5 gigabyte. If ever lumagpas tayo sa 1.5 gig, um, it will be charged to you na. So remember that. Fourth and last best practice naman, turn it up. So ensure your device volume is turned up so you don't miss any incoming order. So same sa busy. Siyempre, kung um, maingay sa restaurant, may dine-in, may nagpipick up na orders, yung baka hindi ninyo marinig yung device. So make sure malakas siya, yung volume is high up, as loud as you want it to be para marinig ninyo kung may pumapasok na orders. So we know now how to embark yung basics ng GoDroid. Let's discuss yung best of it naman. Here's how you manage your items via the GoDroid. So first off, click on menu. So it's demoed here. Go here sa three lines, then menu. You should see your menu. Next, you will see all of your categories. If ever na you have to set one by one, just select them. Or you can also search for the items. After that, you will see them here and you will see three uh, and you will see yung dots dito. Yan yung status. So there are three types. Meron tayong green which is available, yellow which is unavailable today, and gray as unavailable indefinitely. So what is the difference between unavailable today and unavailable indefinitely? Aside from its color, syempre na yellow and gray siya. Yung unavailable today meaning buong araw siya unavailable and you can set it back to available tomorrow or when you open again. And yung unavailable indefinitely, you can toggle back to available. So let's say my french fries kayong sinaserve. At the start of the day, wala kayong stock so you contact your supplier and they tell you na bukas pa nila madedeliver. So, if tomorrow pa makakakuha ng french fries, you can set it to unavailable today. But, in the case na sabi ng supplier, ah, wala this morning, baka this afternoon. So, you can set it muna to unavailable indefinitely. So, when the supplier comes with your french fries stock, you can make it available na ulit for your customers. So, earlier I mentioned yung sa unavailable today, we have this feature called Menu Reminder. This one can help you improve customer experience kasi syempre, by managing your menu, nakikita nila in real time kung ano yung available and not available. So, Menu Reminder na to, when prompted, you can click on the blue box and then update your menu items availability accordingly. So, to demonstrate that, we have a short clip right here. To ensure that your menu items are accurate, you will be prompted to check your menu items daily. Update your menu by marking the items that are back in stock as available. So you saw there, you can select yung items na unavailable yesterday. Kung available na siya today, you can set it and update your menu. If ever na unavailable pa rin sila, then just say items are still unavailable sa ilalim ng button. Now, pro tip, update your menu regularly kasi this one will reduce order fail rates and of course, para ma-avoid din yung disappointment for your customers. Do note na if ever there are changes in the menu from the portal, please inform your in-store staff kasi if ever na save na yung changes na yon in the middle of the day, tapos yung mga unavailable items sinet na pala ng morning, it might set as available ulit after na save yung changes sa menu. So do note to make changes sa portal before the opening or after the closing time para at least hindi ma disrupt yung sinet na availability status ng items. Now let's talk about your performance dashboard. So here you can perfect your order and score a smile. Kasi meron tayong mga, um, kung kunyari downtime naman, you have the time to check out your device and explore. 
then we have a couple of pro tips and tricks for you. Here, you can see your performance and yung weekly results nito for potential improvement. What is good performance? You can click on that and you will see yung performance tips here. But here, we have our own special pros and tip, pro tips and tricks. So, number one jan is manage your product inventory by deactivating out-of-stock items. So, yun yung kanina, yung menu availability. Next, receive alerts for incoming orders by ensuring that your device is switched on and online. So again, checking in at the start of the day during your opening hours is a good idea. Next, keep your restaurant status updated on GoDroid. So sa GoDroid, switch it to busy if ever busy na kayo. As I've mentioned earlier, 30 minutes kayong closed or temporarily unavailable sa app. You can work on preparing existing orders na or um everything in your dine inside diba so pag busy kayo sa food panda it's okay and then you can just sell you can just start accepting orders after 30 minutes now lastly know your peak hours so ito yung kanina um sometimes may busy hours tayo on lunch and dinner but a great way to know that is by checking sa restaurant portal sa sales reports now we have a sales by hour reports doon so that you can avoid delays and rejections now, aside from these pro tips and tricks, you have to step up your game, syempre, lagi. So, weekly and daily. We have weekly performance goals that you can check out. So, kita siya dito. When you scroll down, ito yung weekly goals ninyo. So, you'll see week, this week's goal. Kung kunyari, um, you have 20 cancelled orders, then you have to lower it down. Syempre, ayaw natin ng madaming cancelled orders. Diba? So, here you can identify what you have to improve for the week. And syempre, ganun din for the daily performance. When you tap on review by day, you will see this and then select on the dates. And then you can compare every day kung nag-improve ba kayo sa operating time, canceled orders, delayed orders. This one, yung day-to-day -day steps ninyo. Another way to step up your game is by saving an order. When you save an order, you win a smile because it's never too late. So how do we save an order? So it's easy. Most of the time, pag um, may unavailable item, you can easily save an order by offering something alternative. So yung new order, pagka select ninyo dun, meron tayong decline button up here sa top right. And then you will see um, your reason. Select item unavailable. After that, meron tayong unavailable items. Just select kung alin yung unavailable or alin yung mga unavailable. This way, um, pagka-select ninyo yan and na uh, toggle ninyo yung next part, yung continue, um, these items will be set to unavailable automatically for the rest of the day unless manually toggled back to available sa menu management. So, yung kaninang napakita ko. After that, you will see an um, option to decline the order or contact the customer. So, you can save it. Siyempre, we want to save it. So, contact them. You can see your number doon. There is also a QR code. So, you can use your camera sa phone to scan that and contact them directly. After you've contacted them, kung may na-offer na kayong alternative, na pumayag sila, then you can accept the order and save the day for them. Now, we've already discussed everything. So let's say in the long run, meron tayo new staff na magiging tao for the POS or the GoDroid. If you are a new vendor and you're unfamiliar with the order process, fret not because we have a lot of features in our help center. So number one dyan yung tutorial natin. So you can just select the three lines, yung button, Go to Help Center, select Tutorial, and under the tutorial, meron tayong two topics. So, Manage Orders and Manage Restaurant. These two, meron tayong tutorial dyan, automatic siyang magsiset. Just follow the step-by-step -step guide accordingly. Okay, so now that we know the best of GoDroid, let's move on to optimizing your business. Now, this is a daily checklist, specifically and cu specifically curated for the food panda business. So, syempre, uh, meron na tayong daily checklist sa uh, store natin for sure. Now, these are just simple, these are just simple steps to start your day right sa food panda. So, number one dyan, yung device. Make sure plugged in, strong yung Wi-Fi connection. The ringer is switched on, loud and clear. Yung printer natin, make sure sufficient yung paper roll and connected siya sa device. Lastly, yung menu, so you can set it to um, available and unavailable yung items. Make sure updated siya. 
and again, activate the activate items accordingly. Now, here are a couple of tips and tricks to be in a state of flow. So, being in a state of flow, syempre, walang gulo sa kitchen natin or sa restaurant mismo. Number one jan prepare the packaging at the start of the day. Having your um, packaging in one special corner, andun na lahat ng condiments or utensils, will speed up your packing time. Then, syempre, wala tayong makakalimutan for the customers. Next jan tap ready for pickup. Once an order is ready. So, syempre, we want to update the customer na ready na order, mapipick up na siya ng rider. Then, tap ready for pickup. Yan. And lastly, create a designated pickup area for your riders naman to create a systematic flow. So, it can be near the packaging area para at least pagkalagay ng utensils and condiments, pwede na niyang iabot sa rider. Just make sure to check um, the order ID kung tama ba yung pipickupin ng rider para at least then wala rin traffic inside your restaurant. Now we know all about the tips and tricks and we've learned the best of GoDroid. Are you ready to scale up your business with us? And I hope you all are. And with that, we have here some useful links that you can visit. Siyempre, hindi lang nagsistop ang learning dito sa Panda class na to. We have the restaurant portal for you to explore. You can manage your menu, update your opening hours. Everything about your operations and performance, you can see it here. Siyempre, as mentioned earlier, meron tayong university guides. So, may mga step-by-step -step tayo dito and other videos to help you get started on our platform. Right now, you are already here. Just scan the QR code to check out more videos or, of course, um, check out the channel down below. And lastly, your social channel natin, you can scan this to be up to date sa Viber natin. No? You can receive latest tips and tricks about the business, new features, and new announcements from us, the Food Panda. And with that, I hope you learned so much about the GoDroid device. I hope you become experts in the long run. So, bye for now!